Hey everybody, in yesterday's video we talked about feeling a tightness in your low back after you're deadlifting and all the different uh, bottom and middle kind of initial steps of the deadlift that could mess you up. Um, today I want to talk about the other half of the lift, specifically the top, right? The top is commonly messed up, especially if someone has tight hip flexors or weak glutes as diagnosed by maybe a physical therapist. Um, maybe if you're really lucky, your medical doctor would looked into it. That'd be weird. Um, what it looks like generally to me, the way that I can see someone and just say, sweetie, I know your back is tight, is because you're lifting like this and your back is arched at the top. What I'm looking for instead is a rounding of the low back. That helps me feel my heels in the ground. That helps me turn my glute muscles on. And that fixes these, this, uh, this shortening, this tightness of your hip flexor, and it fixes the weakness of the glutes all at the same time. It's really just a position problem. You should fix the position, and then all the other problems go away. I love this umbrella. I can just be gesticulating. Okay. So first, primarily, uh, get a nice round low back position at the top of this movement. And then in the stuff that we talked about in the last video, you're arching too much or maybe you're rounding your back too much. Um, that stuff can still happen if you've fixed it. Let's say you fixed it here and then you get up here and maybe even do this lockout really well and you find your glutes and you gotta, you know, you know you feel pretty relaxed. You feel like you're using muscles and not your low back. And then when you start coming back down, you lose it. And this is the first motion that happens and you just keep arching on the way down. Maybe even you have this little butt wink thing and I got a lot of pressure in my low back. Um, when I'm doing that, I need to go back to the basics. I need to go back to this start position and just say, Honestly, I'm looking at my video and I'm not doing this correctly. I'm setting up the right way and when I get back down there, I lose it. I can't maintain it. So what? if you can do it, then just say, if you can't do it, figure out how to do it. Go back to my bottom position video from yesterday. Figure out how to do it. And if you are losing it on the way back down, just say, okay, I know the position. Let me just get there sooner. Okay, let me try to get right there. And you're gonna mess up the next couple reps, and even the next couple times you deadlift, you're gonna mess it up, but you're gonna have fewer mistakes, and you're gonna learn it, right? It's a learning process. Your brain is learning a new motor pattern, so you need to teach it, and you need to be patient, right? So those are the two big issues. Make sure your low back stays round at the top, and make sure you're getting to a good position at the bottom, a nice not too arched, not too round position at the bottom if you want to keep your back from getting tight during your deadlift.